I've noticed a teachable moment about the color of the light and the corresponding color of the shadow. And it's right here in my bathroom. So here we go. If you look over here, you see that the light source in here is overhead lights and they're very yellow. When I look at the shadows coming from this yellow light, notice how they're very blue. This is blue and this is more like a sunflower yellow uh, light on this wall. But when you come down here and you look at the towel, um, you notice that the shadow is not blue. It's very brownish and very warm, and I'm going to go ahead and say that that is orangish. It's a low intensity, so it's hard to tell exactly what color it is, but if you had to say one of the colors on the color wheel, you might say orange. So, looking up here at this shadow, you notice how it's trailing off to the left. That's because the light source is to the right of it. But down here, the shadow is on the right-hand side. That means it's coming from a different light source. And that light source is my window to the outside. Notice how gray a day it is. It's raining today and the light is very blue. So the shadows are correspondingly orangey. Let's see if we can see that effect side by side. The blue shadow and the orange shadow. All right, here from the spout, you'll notice that's a blue shadow there. And coming off to the right, the shadow's kind of orangey. I'm gonna turn on the, on the water so that the, the shadow will continue down across this white part and you'll be able to see them side by side. demonstrates to you that the light has a color and there's a relationship between it and the color of the shadow. Paint on my friends!